Ashok Kosler returned to India aged 31, giving up a highly paid job as an international civil servant. Today, much of his time is spent travelling between his home in New Delhi to Jhansi in the north of the country, now the headquarters of Development Alternatives, a non-profit organisation he established in 1983. DA creates practical business systems that poor communities can use to make modest profits. This environmentally friendly papermaking unit on site at DA's headquarters makes the paper from cotton waste. It's used for both research purposes, but also as a demonstration unit to show how the business model works. It's the business itself that is sold on. Every money-making framework DA creates is environmentally friendly. The environment became very important to me because it was really a synthesizing concept which brought together many of the issues that I was very concerned about. Uh, concerned about poverty, concerned about the massive degradation of our landscapes, our forests, our soils, our rivers. I was deeply concerned about the fact that uh, countries like India, poor countries like India, were not making sufficient progress towards eradicating poverty. <laughs> Development Alternatives' most successful initiative is the making of micro-concrete roofing tiles made out of quarry waste. This is the micro-concrete roofing tile unit. We make standardized roofing material which is being sold all over the country. 800 enterprises are now using it profitably. Uh, it's the solution to the housing problem of India. Around India, these tiles are used on over 400,000 houses. Here in the nearby village of Azadpura, houses are built solely using DA products. And the word environment, in a sense, is the only way to describe the whole problem. And for me, environment was not furry animals alone. It wasn't a question of getting rid of pollution alone. It was a question of designing uh, social development and economic development in such a way that these problems didn't exist, didn't occur in the first place. DA is also involved in developing marketable technologies to conserve water in rural India. It's designed and built a series of check dams like this one Gurati Dam. Kostler maintains small dams replenish groundwater reserves and wells in remote areas. He says these mini dams are transforming the fortunes of communities. It was this kind of creative thinking and problem solving that caught the attention of the Sasakawa Prize organizers. We have the chance to honor annually outstanding contribution to this change of the development model, of this integration of environment and development. And I believe this must be even more a signal for the world. We have to do more for awareness raising, for the opening of the eyes via such a prize. It seemed to me from my studies uh, and my observations around the world that development happened because it was in the interest of people to make it happen. So I had learned very early in the game to think about development as a process of facilitating uh, entrepreneurship, of uh, productive capacities, of getting poor countries to rethink uh, how they use their resources better. And so, in a sense, by the time I was about 25, I had already, in my mind, designed what I wanted to do which was innovation like IBM and delivery like McDonald's. Please tell me, this particular dam, how much money is coming back to these farmers? My bet is that if they went to the bank and invested this money in a dam, they would get the whole money back within a month. 
I mean, no business can give you that kind of money, you know? Farmers in this region, like Balkrishan, say Ashok Kosler has given them opportunities they would otherwise never have had. Balkrishan basically says that uh, the amount of uh, improvement in their lives has been huge. Uh, since the dam was built 10 years ago, they have been able to plant two and sometimes more crops a year than they used to before. In addition, of course, their wells have uh, got water in them. They come and swim here. They've been able to get additional improvements in their lives with all the greenery and all the additional life around, which has made a great difference in their lives. Today, farmers like Balkrishan say they get a harvest from land that was, until the construction of the dam, dry and barren. This is millet. And mustard. Or yaha. This is ginger. Or It is uh, various kinds of spices. He says that uh, since the Czech dam, this has all become possible. Before that, they were not able to grow these things. Uh, the reason is that the water table has come up. And because of that, it has essentially made possible crops that need a fair amount of water. Uh, the number of uh, projects of this type are far fewer than there should be. The dramatic improvements in life that you get from a little project like this, a mere 10,000 pounds worth of investment, actually creates every year uh, 10 times as much income uh, in the area surrounding. Elsewhere in the Chadwari village, Kostler is greeted by 126 women who've joined together and been able to afford to build a cow shed and buy some cows communally. They also hope to develop eight hectares of wasteland and turn it into productive land following DA business models. It's really not a question of sacrifice. It's not really a question of... Uh, losing anything. It's uh, not for me uh, a matter of making more money or less money. I have a very comfortable physical and material life and I would like basically to live in a world where everyone else has the same. That's why I do what I do.